Senator Thompson, you have uh, unveiled a plan during this campaign that would extend the Bush tax cuts and the estate tax, repeal the alternative minimum tax, and cut the corporate tax rate. Uh, the problem, according to some experts, uh, is they say this would blow a hole in the deficit. It would reduce federal revenues by two and a half trillion dollars over ten years. Now, when we talked about this on Fox News Sunday, you say one, one of the ways that you would pay for it is by revamping Social Security and cutting benefits for Social Security. Question, if the Democrats, as they almost like, almost certainly would, block that in Congress, isn't that whole plan pretty impractical? In the first place, I never said that I was cutting Social Security. Uh, what I suggested with regard to Social Security... You're, you're going to reduce the cost of living well, let, in... Let, let, let me tell you what I, what I propose. It takes, it takes a moment, and I have the only plan having to do with Social Security of anyone at the table. Number one. Everyone says it's a big problem. Nobody puts anything on the table to do anything about it. I've suggested that it's going bankrupt. I mean, the alternative with regard to Social Security is losing Social Security as we know it. So it's a plan to save Social Security. You do two things. Allow people to have set up an individual retirement account where the government would match their funds. The average guy at the end of uh, uh, their working life would uh, have a few hundred thousand dollars and it would save government money in the process if you did one other thing. And that is index initial retirement uh, benefits to inflation instead of to wages as they are now. We're promising future retirees something we can't possibly deliver. We're promising future retirees uh, more benefits than what current and past retirees have gotten. My plan would not affect current retirees or those near retirees. But this would reduce, but, but this, the, the, forgive me sir, this <clears throat> would reduce the cost of living increases no. from what they currently are no, if you no, change the index. No, no, you got it backwards. Uh, their you index, think it would increase the no, cost no, of no, living? No, 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 if, if you'll give me a moment. They're currently indexed to wages. I'm suggesting they be indexed to inflation. You'd keep the cost of living increase, but you wouldn't increase it as much as what we're <coughs> promising in the future. The increase would not be as much exactly. as what we're promising in the future, which we cannot deliver, number one. And ask any expert in town, and they'll tell you that. Nobody likes to talk about it, but that's the fact. Now, what you would do at the end of the day is actuarially you'd make the Social Security plan say, of sound, and you'd save about $4.7 trillion. Uh, over a period. And what do you do when the Democrats well, say no? Well, what, you, you fight them. You take the case to the American people. Uh, I think that a president's got to be willing to go over the heads of the Democrats and be able to look into the camera, tell the American people what the situation is, and suggest what we've got to do about it. That's one of the things we're lacking in Washington, D.C., I think. Nobody has any credibility. Nobody can make the case, apparently, to the American people with regard to the things that we need to do. And that's one of them. Anybody else here at the table want to uh, support this? Still would be a cost of living increase, but reducing the increase in the cost of living. Anybody else want to do The it? initial benefit, the, the cost of living increase after you retire, would increase just the way it always has. I think, I think Fred raises with a great deal of boldness a very important topic, but I think reducing the initial benefit for retirees, even those of modest and moderate incomes, would be a big mistake, and I don't think that would be politically acceptable, and I think it would be wrong. I think the idea, however, that, that Fred has described, which is having a different index for higher income individuals, is something which has some merit and which solves a big portion of the Social Security gap. Added to that, are personal accounts which can have a higher rate of return than what people currently get by having government debt behind their social security. I, I want to talk about and, one other... And, fi and finally, of course, is, is adjusting the retirement age. Those three things combined can solve the problem of social security. But I, I don't agree that we should cut the initial benefit calculation for modest income Americans who rely on social security I, I want to for their talk retirement. About one